What is the most a dollar has ever gotten you? $92. Worked a coat check at an auction, and we weren't supposed to have a tip jar. Well someone placed an empty glass on the counter, and eventually someone else thought it was a tip jar and started tipping. I said nothing. It got so full that I had to empty it, and then people no longer tipped because it was just an empty cup. So I put a dollar back in, which made people assume it was a tip jar again, and then the tips came flowing again. Second wave of tips made $92. So putting a dollar back in made me $92. I regret absolutely nothing. Did this thing with scouts where we were given a quid to buy something with, and then had to try and swap it for something better. Ended up with one of those VR headsets you put your phone in, a pair of glasses with a fake nose attached, more perfume sticks than any rational group of 16-year-olds could ever need, and a poster for a musical happening in the town that week. I bought a cookie for a dollar at a bake sale, didn't really want it later on. Gave it to a lady I worked with, she loved me for it. I was her favorite after that. That lady was my asshole of a boss. Best dollar ever. I had a similar experience with a plant. One of the higher-ups at my job has a reputation for being really difficult to work with. He's a nice enough guy most of the time, but can be very demanding and impatient. He came by my desk one day and was raving about how beautiful one of my plants was. Long story short I ended up finding him one for two dollars, and he was so happy. I didn't like him very much before that. A couple weeks later the thing bloomed and he was so excited he was literally dancing around my desk. I just can't hate someone like that, and he has been super nice to me ever since. I was working retail and one of the old ladies who used to come in and look at the TVs in my department while they waited for it to be time for the bus back to their independent living facility came over all faint. She asked if I had anything sweet she could have. I got a coke from the drinks machine in the break room and she drank it slowly, holding on to my arm. My manager had called her an ambulance and they loaded her up and took her away. Diabetic. The EMT said the coke was just the thing for her and slapped me on the back. I still remember her little wave as she left. She lived. I didn't save her life or anything, but that dollar made the difference between her getting into the ambulance conscious and with dignity versus unconscious and sick. She said later when I visited her at the hospital that she might have had to move from independent to assisted living without it. So that was a good dollar. Best soda I never drank. A wife. I signed up for a river tour in a foreign country. It cost me an extra dollar to ride in the first boat leaving, didn't want other boats in the way of my photos. Met someone on that boat who later introduced me to her cousin. Been married eight years. I bought a McDonald's burger for this homeless guy near my old job. The guy was grateful, so he taught me how to make origami cranes and we became friends. Fast forward follow up. He got back on his feet and now has a nice apartment and a really annoying, yappy dog. Teaches craft classes at a local community center. He teaches crafts, that is. His dog doesn't teach, that'd be silly. Not a dollar but 60p. Got me two donuts from Sainsbury's which I enjoyed with my mate when we went to a football match. Probably the most I've ever appreciated a food item. That 60p was literally all I had left in my bank account. I used to work at a motel doing the night audit. There was a Papa John's across the street, and in I scratch your back you scratch mine agreement they would deliver me a 10-inch pizza for a dollar as often as I liked. I would tip a dollar to the driver and suggest Papa John's to any patrons looking for a bite to eat. When I was 16 my aunt and uncle wanted to give me an old hand-me-down car that both my cousins used when they first got their licenses, but because of tax purposes, it made more sense to sell the car to me. I bought my first car for one dollar. A dollar is about 50 pesos in the Philippines, enough to buy a pack, 24 PCS, of ice popsicles several decades ago. During summer breaks, I'd buy a pack and sell per piece to our neighborhood kids. I'd restock from my initial capital plus earnings until the new school year starts, and I'd earn about 500 pesos.